Hi, this is Christy with Creations by Christy. Today I had a brainstorm for a new technique while I was walking through the craft store. So I had to rush home and give it a try. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I wanted to uh, show you what I came up with so far. Um, I bought some of the felt in the harder, the stiffer form. This one has a sticker on the back. It's like already came that way. And I'm going to show you what I did. I started with my cuddle bug and ran it through with some embossing folders. I started with the Divine Swirl on one of them. I just ran it through as you would any other with your A plate, B plate folder and then the B plate. Ran it through like that. And it does emboss it. I don't know if you can see how how well it does, but it does emboss it. So, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it now. And here's the black one also embossed. Um, but I wasn't totally happy with how embossed it got. You know, I wasn't happy with how you'd have to really look to see how it turned out. So then I started pushing the limit and trying to figure out, okay, how can I get a better effect? So what I came up with was, let's slide this over. That last pattern was Divine Swirl. I'm pulling my craft sheet because now we're going to get a little messy, not too messy. Um, the first thing I tried was I took the white and this felt is, this is called friendly felt. Um, I don't know what's called there, you know, at your store, but uh, I'll try it with the spots and dots. I haven't tried it with this folder yet. And I want the spots to be showing in the color and not the background. So I'm, that's the part that I'm going to ink up. I'm going to take, this is the First Magic Eggplant. And so I'm going to ink that up with my brayer. My cat is crying outside the door because I'm not going to let her in right now because she'll be walking right in front of the camera. So I'm going to take the brayer and just ink over these little dots. And I'm using my bigger brayer so it doesn't try and drop between the dots. And I've done cardstock like this where you ink up the your cuddle bug folder and then um, go over card stack, but I've never tried it with a fabric or a felt or anything, and I'm like, oh, what a cool idea. could totally make your own fabric. Okay, so then I put it in and just made sure I did not move it. We're going to bring back the cuddle bug, set it in our sandwich. and run it through and I ran it through kind of slow run it back back and forth so that the ink can get in there and then here's the big reveal ta-da now it's got the spots and dots on the white felt which gives it it's almost like a chalky look I really like how it turned out and here's another one that I ran through on the felt. This is the one that I tried first and I just think it turned out amazing. Um, here's another one that I did but this one I did the background in like a pink. So there's three of them and this one dries pretty fast so there's three patterns in that. So then I started thinking okay what else can we do? So I went back to my mat here. Let's get this stuff out of the way. 
pulled out my embossing or my distress embossing ink and let's go with the leafy branch this time and again I just want the branch to show so I'm going to ink up my brayer with the embossing ink and run it over the folder and if somebody else has heard about this I want to know why I haven't heard about it because this to me I thought was just like the coolest idea and I'm just okay see I got a little bit because this is a more open pattern so I got a little bit on my folder so I'm just gonna wipe it off with my thumb or any finger of your choosing okay now while that's still wet I'm gonna go with black that'll be cool so I put the black on and it shows white on this side because remember this one has the sticker on the back so then I'm gonna fold this close it and do it carefully so you don't move it pull your cuddle bug back sandwich it up hopefully this one works out as good as the my test one because that one turned out awesome run it through bring back your mat and I like to when I'm embossing or glittering or anything I like to do it in a coffee filter so you don't get stuff all over okay you're not going to be able to see anything quite yet, but just wait. Okay, I'm taking white flock, and you're going to think she's crazy putting white flock on black felt. But just wait till you see, because you're going to be like, oh my god, that's going to stick all over the black felt, and there goes a big clump. That's going to be just fine. Okay, so after I have it totally covered, I'm going to take and flick it. Look how awesome that looks. Looks like it's just lightly coated with a flock. And then the other one that I had done is this brown with the green. And this pattern is the stylized flowers. Okay, let's go with these stylized flowers. We're going to ink up our brayer with the embossing ink. And then we're going to go with the brown felt, put that on top, make sure you don't shift it around, close it up, put in your sandwich, slide your cuddle book back, let's get to suction on, run it through. back that aside and then we have our stylized flower bring this over and this time I'm going to do glitter this is the Martha Stewart brownstone so I'm going to shake this all over So now you just turn upside down, give it a couple flicks, and there's your pattern. And hopefully you can see how gorgeous that looks. It's got the stylized flower. I mean, you, it, none of it is sticking to the actual background felt, and you just have the picture of the stylized flower on there. So give these a try. Like I said, this is a... This came to me an hour ago, and I just wanted to share it with you.